Hello, this is Walker Gucci. I'm here at the Ideal World Fitness Conference with Todd Durkin. Todd Durkin is an international speaker, a renowned and well-respected business owner, and the worldwide spokesperson from Under Armour. Todd, how are you doing tonight? Great, Bobby. Good to be here. Thanks for having me. Todd, now, you've developed champions. Not only champion athletes, but champion professionals. What are the keys, critical success factors to becoming a champion fitness professional? Uh, great question, Bobby. I don't think there's a difference between a fitness professional and a champion athlete or champion executive. I think a lot of it is mindset. The mindset of a champion is getting your mind right and doing uh, things that you have to do to make sure you put yourself in a position to win. Uh, one of the things I'm saying right now is win the day. Win the day. Focus on the things in your life or in your business that you can control, not the things you can't control. You're living in fear, whatever, fear of whatever it is. Creating a business, growing your business, creating a product, uh, growing on your team, whatever it is. Then you'll never reach your full potential. So really getting your mind right around optimizing your full potential. I think it's really important on that stuff. Um, so if you're looking to be a champion fitness professional, it's about living with passion, living with motivation, living with inspiration, surrounding yourself with great people, reading great books, being part of great organizations, uh, such as PT on the net. Obviously you guys do unbelievable stuff, uh, have awesome people all around you. Um, I think that helps propel you to the next level. What I do with Under Armour, what I've done with Fitness Quest 10, is put myself in a situation to be surrounded by world-class folks. And if you're looking to become world class, you need to surround yourself with world class folks. What are the mental viruses that you've seen that stop fitness professionals from becoming the type of trainer they're ultimately capable of? I think some of the things that prevent trainers from getting where they want to go, number one, is a negative mindset, not believing in yourself. Or when you start to doubt, and it prevents you from firing and taking action. I live by a mantra called ready, fire, aim. Instead of ready, aim, fire, it's ready, fire, aim. That means take action. Put gas in the tank, go, and then correct along the way. Sometimes the, uh, the perfectionist attitude that we have rob us of actually taking action because we want it to be perfect. When I learn sometimes that good is good enough and you take action on those things that you want to create, then you start to get momentum going on in your life. And again, as a fitness entrepreneur, as a fitness professional, as an executive, uh, in any area of your life, when you do that, um, then you live out your true living potential. And I think it's really important that you do that. And the other thing too is just uh, people that you surround yourself with is very important. There are people in your life that actually uh, create maybe fear, maybe self-doubt. Those those things or those people can rob you once again of ultimately achieving your true potential. So surround yourself with the type of people you would like to become. Ready, fire, aim. Great strategy for developing a bias for action. Horrible strategy for a professional marksman. Now, <laughs> now what happens when a fitness or any of us, because we all have these experiences, doubt starts to suddenly creep in. Yep. How do we snap ourselves out of that state and get ourselves back on track? Well, there's several ways. Number one, you can take a, a, a rubber band or a wristband around your wrist. Every time a negative thought in your mind, snap it right on out. That's one way. It's a mental cue as well as a kinesthetic. Something says you can't do it, snap it. i got to change my mindset right away. That's one thing. Another thing, read great books. Listen to audio books on tape. Put mantras and quotes around your room, uh, your home offices, because that gets you in the mindset of being positive, staying positive. And when adversity strikes you, when, not if, when it strikes you and there's challenge in your life, then you can overcome that or be in the position that you can best overcome that situation. So those are all some of the strategies that I've used, uh, my team uses to, uh, to try to just keep moving forward in everything that we do. Uh, got to say too is obviously it's hard work and the fitness professional we are in the trenches we're getting after it we're trying to change the world one person at a time whether you do 20 30 40 sessions a week in sessions uh it's hard work and i don't think i think you also have to permit yourself to take time off if you don't take time off you're gonna burn out and when you're burnt out you have no energy you have no passion then you can't truly have the spirit and the energy within you to do what you do and to be who you truly are so i think it's important to get your mellow yellow time, get your vacation time, so you can replenish and restore and rejuvenate uh, your spirit. So I thank you very much. Before we go,
attention to what's feeding your mind. What's called dirt? Right now, the leader who had no title by Robin Sharma, uh, the leader who had no title, and what uh, Robin talks about is how everyone is a leader. A leader of one, a leader of many. You can't lead one, you can't lead any. And whether you're a business owner or you're part of a small studio, you're a green trainer, you're a savvy veteran, all of us are leaders. And we have that mindset that we all are leaders, that we all can make change, then great things are gonna happen. So that's my book that's on the desk right now. And uh, I'm about to start on vacation on uh, Saturday, tomorrow night. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be reading a book called The Secret of the Slight Edge by uh, my man Trevor Moe, from my feet. His father uh, wrote that, so The Secret of the Slight Edge. I've always got books going on. Great advice from a leader of leaders. Thank you, Bobby, appreciate it.